Few instrument setups are complete without attenuators. Without them, our ability to evaluate the performance of our devices under different conditions would be severely limited. Vonix's state-of-the-art Labrick attenuators combine both performance and the configurability to provide a wide range of measurement flexibility, and setting them up is performed the exact same way as all of our products from a single display. When you're ready to get started with the Labrick, first things first, make sure you follow the instructions on our easy quick start guide before taking next steps. First, insert the USB flash drive included with the setup. Next, run setup.exe to install the Labrick GUI. Once that's complete, from the program menu, run the Labrick GUI. Once the GUI is up and running, connect the USB cable and Labrick device and you'll be good to go. If you'd like more detailed information on these steps, take a look at the user manual located on the USB flash drive or visit our website at vonix.com. To set the RF output power using the attenuator field on the top of the screen, type the desired attenuation level into the window and hit the enter key or use the up and down arrows. The usual presets are here as well, one from 10 dB or you can select other by clicking on the other window and entering the values. The Labrick attenuator will also automatically step through a range of attenuation values once you have specified starting and final attenuation levels, step size, dwell time, and time interval between repeating steps. The dwell time can be configured from 10 milliseconds to 20 seconds per step. If you want to perform a bi-directional ramp, you just have to set the dwell and hold times. Bi-directional dwell time is the time the attenuator stays at each attenuation setting from the end to the start values. Hold time is the period the attenuator waits after the ramp is completed. You can sweep once by selecting any one time or repeat to repeatedly sweep from the start to the end attenuation level. You can always end the sweep by pressing the stop button. When it comes to loading profiles, you can create and load a profile in either .txt or .prf formats. Once loaded, the profile will appear on the screen and dwell and idle times can be modified. You can save settings by clicking on the file menu and selecting save current settings, and they will be stored within the attenuator. So that the next time you power up the device, the attenuator will begin at the predefined state. Test setups and multiple paths require attenuators in each one and Labrick software accommodates this by allowing any number to be controlled from a single computer, either directly or through a powered USB hub. The green LED on the attenuator indicates when communication is established, and each device is automatically identified by model and serial number. And there you have it. Now you have a better idea of how to program Vonix's Labrick portable RF digital attenuator. If you'd like to learn more, get in touch with us directly by contacting Vonix's highly knowledgeable technical support team. Be sure to add us on LinkedIn and keep an eye out for more product demos, features, and technical sessions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.